Hey, how you doing? I'm Jake. Uh, this is my buddy Alex. We're about to go surfing. This is what we do in San Diego uh, after we're done selling solar. So, or this is how we start our day, yeah? Every day, let's get to it. <laughs> All right, we'll see you there. Because after the beach and after surfing, we're normally like pretty, pretty hungry. I've grown to love the sport. Well, when I first got the golf clubs, though, he was like, nah, you, you, you're not a player yet. So the way I became a single dad, that's, that's definitely, you know, it's a story, that's a deep story. Yeah, we were just thinking of like maybe going to Coronado, uh, doing some golfing a little bit, and then um, uh, we have a friend in town, probably go get, get some lunch, and hang out, just have drinks. Because after the beach and after surfing, we're normally like pretty pretty hungry. <laughs> we're like, gotta, gotta get some energy for the rest of the day, but uh, then we usually, on a night, like we'll just uh, go to the backyard and do a barbecue and uh, grill with some of our close friends or family, uh, play guitar, sing, that's about it. So I get a lot of calls and a lot of messages and uh, a lot of people kind of know where I hang out and um, where I live there's a lot of people in solar because uh, when they move from other parts of the country to California they kind of move by the beach and so all the places to go hang out they usually come and say hi to me so I come here uh, because nobody comes here and this is kind of a place where I can just get away from everyone and everything. I'm a huge movie guy and so the movie theater is right back here and uh, this is where I host a lot of my uh, company parties and uh, I have an office space that's right across the street and uh, just kind of it's kind of my little hangout chill zone so welcome how you doing we're just gonna go uh, we'll go get some golfing over here at uh, Coronado golf course famous hotel Dell is over here um, but you know we like golfing right next to the Coronado bridge and then you have the boats right here on the bay so I love, I love San Diego. So, one of the best things I can do when I'm meeting people when they come to visit in San Diego for work is taking golfing. And um, uh, so I do it for work, and I also do it for fun. I actually only started a couple of years ago, but uh, or last year. Um, but I've grown to love the sport. It's extremely complicated and you have to focus uh, pretty intently, so right up my alley. And so we're just gonna, we came to Coronado Golf Course here uh, to hit some golf balls and, and show you guys what it's like to live in San Diego. I was sitting at home a lot, and all of my friends were out playing golf uh, without me. And I was like, how come I'm not invited? And this guy goes, you don't have golf clubs, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Then we started playing here, it's right next to the water, super nice, so. Uh, well, when I first got the golf clubs, though, he was like, nah, you, you, you're not a player yet. So I had to go practice on my own a little bit and get good at it, and then I got to play with these guys, and that's how I got into the golf. <laughs> I love San Diego just because, you know, when I was working in home security, uh, we'd always leave for the summer 
and I never really had summer so as soon as I moved here it was summer year round so I didn't work for a few years as soon as I moved here uh, and it just it just feels like it's just always happiness like it always feels like friends are always willing to do something you look down the street and you know people are running and or riding bikes or going out surfing or kite surfing golfing it's just it's just, it's an extremely active area to be in and it's beautiful it's next to the ocean uh, everyone wants to come and visit just because you're, you know you're next to the water so uh, it's, I love living here it's great all right so the way I became a single dad that's that's definitely you know it's a story that's a deep story I was working in solar at a company called Vivint Solar and this girl just walked walked through the meeting and ended up she, that she worked there and I turned to the, the manager of that and I was like I'm going to marry her she was attracted to me and um, and uh, you know we started dating and we dated for about a, a year and a half or two years and then I proposed we decided within that time, you know, we're gonna get married. That was our that was our idea. That's that's in our heads. That's what we we're gonna do. And um, and so we said, hey, let's have a, let's have a kid. We don't need the marriage. We don't need the title. Let's have a kid because this is how we want to live our lives. And we did. It was a conscious decision by both of us. And and I, it was the best decision. Her and I both agree it's the best decision that we ever made. And uh, he's the most beautiful thing on the planet. But. Um, before before all of that happened uh well i'm sorry she got pregnant but we didn't know she was pregnant and you know i was starting this company and she decided uh that it was too stressful for her because i was absolutely broke i i had no money in the bank account we decided to have a kid without money go figure right i knew that i was capable of making money and everyone told her jake makes hundreds of thousands of dollars don't worry about it but I hadn't done it in years because I had just moved to San Diego where it's summertime year round and I didn't want to work. So I started going to debt using my credit cards and, and it came to a point where I started using her money and she was fine with it because we wanted this life together. But now she was down to her last three grand and she was in a place where she couldn't operate that way. Uh, she needed me to go work. And so I was like, look, I'm going to, I need part of this $3,000 you have left to start this company. I want to start a company. And for her, she just said, that's too much. She packed up her stuff, she moved back to the East Coast, and that's when we found out she was pregnant, is after she had already moved away. Um, you know, sure enough, like, the business takes off and starts becoming successful, but we have these, like, feelings now. I felt, I felt, I honestly felt kind of betrayed. Um, you know, like, if she's not there during my worst, then, you know, is she gonna stay there? So that, that created some that created some animosity between us and then she had animosity because she's like well why didn't she show this side of you while we were together and and it, it's been this whole ordeal uh, but we never we never ended up you know we, we tried a few times to get back together but we never ended up just I think the pain was too much on both of our sides so um, we just came to terms with it uh, and decided hey let's just give this let's give our guy the most beautiful life he could have we never went to court. Uh, we never fought about child support. We never um, we never went through all the chaos that everyone goes through. We we came up with things amicably uh, amicably that worked with both of us. We have 50/50 custody, and uh, she's the best mom in the world. I love her. Uh, I could never ask for a better mother for my for my son, and um, I will never forget uh, how we worked that out together without involving all of the craziness that everyone goes through in life. Uh, but that's how I became a single dad. It wasn't necessarily, it wasn't necessarily by choice. It wasn't because any of us messed up. It was just, it was just product of circumstances, uh, which is sad. But that's that's how it happened. But I, I'm just happy that we're giving him the best life uh, that he could have. When I first started Solar, when I when I owned my company Helio Gold, like a lot of homeowners wanted to meet after you know they got off of work after five o'clock, and. The adjustment was tough because how do you tell someone that's ready to go or ready to meet with you on an appointment, how do you tell them, hey, sorry, I'm not gonna meet you at six o'clock or seven o'clock at night because I have to be back for my son too. What I've learned in being a single dad uh, and you know, and, and trying to balance being a dad and being a good dad and being an entrepreneur and being in solar was delegating. Delegating is literally the only 
way that I could ever do anything that I'm doing. And I am so thankful for the people in my life uh, that have trusted me enough and trusted the, the idea and the vision enough uh, to want to be a part of this so that I can spend time with my son. And that's really the most important thing uh, for me. I'm not doing this for the fame. I'm not doing it necessarily for the income. I'm doing it for my kid. Uh, the income is a perk for the lifestyle he gets to live and you know the, the things that we get to do together. There, I didn't really get to do a lot of that stuff with my dad, so I, I wanted to make sure that I, could, that I could do that with him. And uh, I would have to, if I were to narrow it down to one thing, I would say that delegating is the main reason why I'm able to do what I do.